Attention. Welcome back, everybody. This is uh, Coach Daniel over here at Lucas Fighting Rocks. This is week six, lesson 12, week six, lesson two in our eight week online kids program. Uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the last one and did your assignment. You're talking to your parents about what attitude is all about. We're going to be following up about confidence at the end of class today. So I want you to stick around so you can um, follow up with the next assignment. Now, this is what we're going to be focusing on today. A lot of different things, so making sure that you're paying attention. We'll be covering basically the last couple weeks of uh, combos and, and putting everything together. So hope everyone's ready, and I'm excited to show you guys. We're going to have a little bit of fun today. So show me attention. Bow forward. And let's begin. So the three words of virtue, like always, repeat after me. Attention. Respect. And discipline. Awesome job. Seven words of respect. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Please. Thank you. And you're welcome. Student creed. Again, I'll give a little bit of pause. Learn the ways to preserve life rather than destroy. Avoid rather than check. Check rather than hurt, hurt rather than maim, and maim rather than destroy. For all life is precious, nor can any be replaced. Very good, everybody. So show me attention. Yes, sir. Bow again one more time. Let's begin. So everyone really quick, show me your boxing stance. Yes, sir. Holding it here. We're going to hop in and out. We have a line. We do a rhythm hop. This might be new for some of you. We haven't been doing it for a while. We're going to go in and out with the feet. And just like we're hopping in our boxing stance, my feet never come together. And I'm going forward and back, just like this. Forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Nice and easy. Hop up. And show the attention stance. Yes, sir. Boxing stance again. Ready, go. Hop forward and back. It's like you're hopping over a line. But make sure at home, if you look down, your feet don't do this. They're spread apart. You want to make sure you're nice and strong in your stance. And show me attention. Yes, sir. Boxing stance again. Yes, sir. Pop in and out. And this time, we're going to add our number one every time we come forward. So ready, go. One, one, one. So as you come towards me, you're going to throw your jab. Number one, one. All the way. Show me attention. Yes, sir. Again, same thing. This time we add that jab. Number one. Ready, boxing stance. Here and go. Rhythm hop. In and out. Good. Now faster. Faster. If you can keep your punches going as you're going faster, then awesome. If you're having trouble, just go back to the footwork like me. Ready, faster. Move those feet. Faster. I'm going side to side here so you can see. Faster. Faster. And show me attention. Yes, sir. Awesome job. Keep up your feet. Next one. Jumping jacks on me. Ready? Five jumping jacks. Ready? Go. One. Count with me. Two. Three. Four. Five. Show me attention. Again. Ready? Five. Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Full attention again. Last one. Ready? Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, more attention. Awesome job, everybody. Now, coach is challenge. You have done this in a little bit. Fast jumping jacks, five. Try to beat me. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five. More attention. Last one. Go. One, two, three, four, five. More attention. Last <laughs> job, everybody. Now, next one. Again, reviewing on your backs. And then this is the last couple lessons now. Circle the feet in. When I want to get used to this, let's warm up the legs a little bit more. Circle out, all the way. Good. Circle in. Circle out. Good. Now, 
we're going to go straight to our rocking. So starting here, rock back. Remember, from the side, my feet never touch, my head never touches. So balancing on my tailbone. Right here. Good, everybody. And now we have pause. Deep breath in. Breathe out. Remember at the very top, we throw one, two. You ready? Go. Back. One, two, one. We'll do five of these. One, two, two. One, two, three. One, two, four. And one, two, five. And back. Breathe. Now, we're going to add something new off of the rocking, everybody. So make sure you're paying attention. As I rock back, I'm going to go one. I want everyone to shift your hips. And I'm going to put one leg to the ground. The other one stays up. My knee stays up. My foot's flat. My knee stays down on this leg. This leg is flat. So down. Rock back. Change to the other side. Other leg down. Other hand. Or excuse me, other leg up. Change. Change. I'm just laying one leg to the ground. The other one stays up. This one stays down. This one stays up. If you're having trouble, keep watching and keep practicing. Can we ask your parents to help? No. Last one. Very good. Show me attention. We'll be here. Awesome job, everybody. Now, we're going to be covering a lot of different things today, so I want to review a couple combinations we've been working on. So last week's, our last lesson's combination, show me your boxing stance. Ready? Seven, eight, ten. Seven, eight, ten. So ready? Go. Seven, eight, and ten. Eesh. Come back. So remember on the seven, eight, we say T. Ready? Go. T. T. And eesh. Back. Again. Go. Seven. Eight. Ten. Good. Ready? Listen for me. Go. Teep. Teep. Eesh. Good. Ready? Go. Teep. Teep. Eesh. Remember we say teep teep eesh at home. Ready? Go. Teep. Teep. Eesh. Follow through. Show me attention. Yes, sir. Now, this is our first combination. We'll be going through this quickly. For this last lesson, we had our one, two, three, two. So everyone, boxing stance, holding it here. Ready, one, two, three, two. Boxing stance. Go, one, two, three, two. Boxing stance. Go, one, two, three, two. Hold it here. Go, one, two, three, two. Awesome job. So let's start there. Ready? When I call out one, two, three, two, we do one, two, three, two. If I call seven, eight, ten, seven, eight, ten. Ready? One, two, three, two. Shh, 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 shh. Hold it. One, two, three, two. Shh, 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 shh. Make sure you're listening. Seven, eight, ten. T, T, eesh. Ready? One, two, three, two. Shh, 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 shh. Seven, eight, ten. T, T, eesh. Good, everybody. One, two, three, two. Shh, 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 shh. Hopefully, everyone's keeping along. Cheep, cheep, eesh. Seven, eight, ten. Eesh. And again, seven, eight, ten. Cheep, cheep, eesh. Good. Awesome job. Show me attention. Yes, sir. So, we have those combinations. And our last one. So, hopefully, you guys are able to keep with this. Now, the week before that, the lesson before that, we had our number one, two, Ten combination. Let's practice this because it's been a little while. So show me your boxing stance. One, two, shh, shh. and number ten. Eesh. Putting it all together. You ready? One, two, ten. Shh, shh. Eesh. You come through. You ready? One, two, ten. Shh, shh. Eesh. You come through. You ready? One, two, ten. Shh, shh. Eesh. 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 Okay, awesome job, everybody. Show me attention. Now, if you guys may notice, I'm not saying it. We're throwing the kick 
I'm trying to make it a couple different ways. You can kick it here and then bring it straight back. I'm doing this so you guys can see me in front. And also at home, kick, and just turn 180. So you're facing this way. Okay? So now we have all three combinations. It's a lot, but it's using very similar techniques from every single one. So just think about it and follow along. Okay? So show me your boxing stance. Again, one, two, ten. Shh, shh. Page, follow through. Ready? One, two, three, two, go. Shh, 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 shh. Good. Seven, eight, ten. Deep, deep. Page, and come through. Okay, one more time. One, two, ten. Shh, shh. Page. Ready? One, two, ten. Shh, shh. Page. Ready? Deep, deep. Page. Seven, eight, ten. Deep, deep. Page. And one, two, three, two. Shh, 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 shh. And show me attention. Good job. It's a lot of combos, guys. We're moving everything together. As I told you last, last lesson, this is where we're really going to start to pick it up. So now we have a couple different things. Everyone show me your boxing stance. Get ready. Double cover. Shh. V cover. Shh. Shield block. Shh. So as a review, we did this last time. Ready? Shield block. Shh. Double cover. Shh. Be covered. Shh. Be covered. Shh. Double cover. Shh. Shield. Shh. Good. Everything together. So with me, get ready. I have one more thing to add is double cover. Shh. One, two, ten. Shh. Shh. Page. Think about it, everybody. Put it all together. Shield block. Shh. One, two, ten. Shh. Shh. Page. Good job. Be covered. Shh. One, two, ten. Shh. Shh. Page, starting off simple. Get ready. Shield block. Shh. Seven, eight, ten. Deep, deep. Page. Ready. Double cover. Shh. One, two, three, two. Shh, 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 shh. Good. Hope once everyone's keeping up. Double cover. Shh. Seven, eight, ten. Deep, deep. Page. Follow through. And VR, recover. Shh. One, two, three, two. Shh, 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 shh. And show me attention. Sir, everyone's keeping it along. Now, we're gonna add one last thing. So it's already a lot of stuff. We have six different things we're doing. Three blocks, three combos. And there's one thing that we're missing right now. It's the feet, the move. I want everybody to remember, last week, we did what we call quarter turns and shuffle steps. We're just gonna work the quarter turn today. So show me your boxing stance here. Show me attention. Quarter turn, we're gonna face this way. Turn. Back, turn, and back. We're all looking this way. Turn, and back. This way, turn, and back. 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 <laughs> you can see us a little bit. So ready? Turn, turning this way, and back. Turn this way and back. For you at home as a student, I want you guys to pick one direction. One direction only. If you have it, you can do both sides, but I want you guys to pick one direction. You can just copy me who's gonna pick this side, okay? So everyone show me your boxing stands. Get ready. Quarter turn. Quarter turn. Or in this case, turn. Turn. Good, reset. Ready, turn. Make sure you reset back to center. Okay, we put it all together, everybody. We move around a bunch. So ready? Double cover. Shh. One, two, ten. Shh, shh. Ready? Shh. Good. Ready? Turn. Shh. Double cover. Shh. One, two, ten. Shh, shh. Ready? Shh. Good. We stay in that same direction. Come back. Look at me. Ready? Shield block. Shh. Turn. All the way. One, two, ten. Shh, shh. Eesh. Good. Face back to me. Ready? Double cover. Shh. Turn. Shh. One, two, three, two. Shh, 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 shh. And back. Ready? B cover. Shh. One, two, three, two. Shh, 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 shh. Turn. Shh. And back. Everyone's keeping up. It's a lot of stuff. Ready? B cover. Shh. One, two, three, two. Shh, shh. Double cover. Shh. Seven, eight, ten. 
deep, deep. Eish, good. Shield block, Eish. turn. Seven, eight, ten, deep, deep. Eish, back to center, look at me. Ready, double cover, Eish. One, two, three, two, Eish. Double cover, Eish. turn. Eish. One, two, three, two, Eish. turn. Eish. Double cover, Eish. one, two, three, two, and back. Double cover. One, two, ten. Eesh. Shield. Seven, eight, ten. Teep, teep. Eesh. Turn. Eesh. Shield ball. Seven, eight, ten. Teep, teep. Eesh. And last one. Double cover. Turn. One, two, ten. Eesh. Awesome job, everybody. Show me attention. Good. So now, it's already a lot of stuff we're covering. And this is where it starts to get a little confusing if you don't have your basics. Remember, if you are still struggling with some of these techniques, that's okay. Remember what we talked about last time, having a good attitude. Know that you have to improve that. Just work on it outside of class. Just spend a couple minutes every day. So, really quick, show me attention. Yes, sir. Now, I want to talk about confidence today. So confidence is really important in anything that we do. Now, in martial arts, this is very similar to what we talked about in our last lesson in uh, attitude, having a good attitude, learning from our mistakes and fixing it and being a little bit more positive, right, to help everybody. But confidence also means believing in yourself. So let's say martial arts, when you're learning a new move or new technique, think about first time you threw your number 10 kick. So number 10 kick, Eesh. did it look like that? Probably not, right? And you know, for me, I know it definitely did not look like that my first hundred or several hundred times I did it. It takes a lot of time and effort and a lot of failures and learning from those mistakes and failures before you feel comfortable with it, right? Now, I'm not saying my number 10 is perfect. It's not. I always have room to improve. But this is where it's really important when you're learning something new. It doesn't even have to be martial arts at this point. It's okay to fail as long as you are learning from that mistake and have enough confidence to own up to it and say, I messed up there, let's make it better next time. Just like we kind of talked about with attitude. Now, this is really important, so make sure you're listening here, is the difference between failing and giving up. Giving up is you let it fall off, you stop trying to learn from, from those mistakes, and you just move on. Right? If you're learning doing that in martial arts, as my student, I would never I would do my best to never let a student give up on their practice or give up on something in their practice because it's it's really easy to give up, but it's not rewarding. You're not getting anything, you're not learning from giving up. Failing, on the other hand, it's okay to fail as long as you put in the work to learn from those failures, learn from those mistakes, and make it better every other time. This is really important to know because in martial arts, the road to black belt, learning how to become even a yellow belt, there's going to be room always to improve, even when you get to a black belt. It doesn't stop there. This is where it's really important for yourself to carry yourself in the right way. What I mean by carry yourself is learning from your mistakes and being able to walk tall, stand up, rain upright, and be proud of what you've accomplished. You can only be proud of what you've accomplished if you don't give up on something, right? And to get to a black belt, you know, it takes a student about four or five years to get there. But if you push yourself, and I've always seen this quote, and it's always stuck with me, a black belt is a white belt that's never given up. That's all it is. It doesn't matter if you're the most talented person in the world, you can have all the talent in the world and be awesome at what you do, but if you don't actually use it, the person who works hard is gonna go 10 times above person who's talented if they put in that time, right? Now, this is where it's really important as well. This is another side of confidence I want to talk about today. And it kind of comes into what I'm doing with you guys right now and talking to you. Look at how I'm standing. Look at how I'm talking. Look at how I'm giving you guys all this information. Think about in confidence, how do you talk to everybody? How do you uh, express yourself? Do you, do you express yourself like this? Do you close off? shy, which is fine, and it's, it's okay because everyone gets shy, or do you express yourself where you're standing tall, where you're able to talk to others and explain things to them. Maybe you're in my position one day, 
or let one of our leadership students who are working towards a black belt, they become assistant instructors here and they start helping out teaching classes. You want to be able to stand in front of a group or stand in front of your friends, your family, if you're trying to teach them and be confident in what you're doing and say, hey, this is how it is. This is how I've done it. This is how much effort I put into my own practice to show it correctly to everybody else, right? And it's how you prepare yourself. It's how you posture. So I want you guys two things today as a little assignment is go home, or you're already at home, everybody, but go talk to mom, mom or dad or your parents about what confidence means and how you can apply it in martial arts but then also how you can apply it to everyday life. When you're talking to mom and dad, feel the difference. I want you guys to practice at home. Slump a little bit. Kind of curl up and put your hands closed and maybe put your head down, chin down like this and talk to them about something that can be kind of hard to talk about. Maybe, um, you know, you are working on something and you, you failed at it a bunch of times and say, yeah, you know, watch the difference. Yeah, mom, dad, or yeah, I'll, I'll try better next time. I think, I think I'll, I'll think I can do it. My posture changes, my tonality changes. I, I don't believe in myself. I don't talk like I, I believe in myself. But stand up tall and take a deep breath in and stand like you're out of tension or you're, you're at a point to where you can be open and now say okay mom dad or whoever you're talking to instructors teachers i made that mistake i'll fix it next time i'll make it happen watch the difference right there between how i'm talking right now and then the example i gave you before night and day right so i want you guys at home two assignments today for this lesson is to talk about what confidence means but also play, do a little bit of a of acting game with your mom your dad or whoever grandpa, grandma, and, and talk to them. Say one sentence and have a bad posture. And say to where like you're kind of like this, and then stand back up tall, open your, your whole body up, and now say it with uh, a little bit more um, confidence, but a little bit more energy. And see which one they like more, or which one feels like they believe in more, okay? So everyone, please show me attention. Yes, sir. Show respect. I will see you all in the next lesson. Please let me know how I do.